हेलो फ्रेंड्स मैं आशा करता हूँ कि आप लोग बहुत अच्छे होंगे आज के इस वीडियो में हम लोग डिस्कस करेंगे 25 इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन कास्ट आयरन जो कि बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट है आपके एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू सो लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो वेरी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन हाउ मच कार्बन इज प्रेजेंट इन कास्ट आयरन द आंसर इज मोर देन टू सो हेयर यू कैन सी द आयरन कार्बन फेज डाइग्राम अगर कार्बन प्रेजेंट है जीरो टू टू परसेंट देन इट इज नोन एज स्टील इफ द कार्बन परसेंटेज इज इन बिटवीन टू टू सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन परसेंट देन इट इज नोन एज कास्ट आयरन सो हाउ मच कार्बन इज प्रेजेंट इन कास्ट आयरन दैट इज मोर देन टू परसेंट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन कास्ट आयरन इज ए अलॉय यूटेक्टिक यूटेक्टॉइड पेरिटेक्टिक पेरिटेक्टॉइड द आंसर इज यूटेक्टिक सो कास्ट आयरन इज ए यूटेक्टिक अलॉय नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन आयरन ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम द ब्रोकन इज नोन एज वाइट आयरन सीमेंटाइट ग्राफाइट परलाइट बेनाइट द आंसर इज सीमेंटाइट सो हेयर यू कैन सी द माइक्रोस्ट्रक्चर ऑफ सीमेंटाइट सीमेंटाइट में आपको बेसिकली क्या मिलेगा सीमेंटाइट की मैट्रिक्स और फेराइट एंड द सीमेंटाइट इज वाइट इन कलर वेयर एज फेराइट इज ब्लैक इन कलर सो आयरन ऑप्टेंड फ्रॉम द ब्रोकन सीमेंटाइट इज नोन एज वाइट आयरन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इफ द आयरन सर्फेस कंटेंस ग्राफाइड इट इज नोन एज अलॉयकॉस्ट आयरन व्हाइट आयरन ग्रे आयरन स्पेरॉयडल ग्राफाइड द आंसर इज ग्रे आयरन सो हेयर यू कैन सी द माइक्रोस्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ग्रे आयरन सो यू कैन सी फेराइट परलाइट एंड ग्राफाइट so if the iron surface contains graphite it is known as grey iron next question what is the effect of phosphorus and sulfur in the cast iron the answer is it induces brittleness brittleness describes the property of a material that fractures when subjected to the stress but has a little tendency to deform before rupture next question Which of these are the application of grey cast iron? The answer is camshaft and engine blocks. So here you can see the camshaft which is used in IC engine and this is the engine block. So these are the applications of grey cast iron. Next question, which of the following cast iron cannot be machined? The answer is white cast iron. It is very difficult to machine white cast iron. Next question in a mottled cast iron slow cooling rate is used to obtain the answer is grey cast iron so the grey cast iron is produced from a mottled cast iron then the grey cast iron has the answer is high thermal conductivity the grey cast iron has high thermal conductivity so the thermal conductivity refers to the ability of a given material to conduct or transfer the heat that is known as thermal conductivity next question nodules of graphite are observed in the microstructure of white cast iron malleable cast iron spheroidal cast iron all of the above the answer is spheroidal cast iron so here you can see the microstructure of spheroidal cast iron which contain ferrite perlite and graphite nodules so these are nothing but the nodules the circular object that is known as nodule okay so the nodule of graphite are observed in the microstructure of what spheroidal cast iron next question rosettes of tempered carbon in the matrix of ferrite are observed in the microstructure of the answer is malleable cast iron so here you can see the ros rosettes of tempered carbon here the matrix is ferrite okay and the carbon is present in the form of temp rosettes so here the answer is malleable cast iron next question the crystal of alpha iron is the answer is bcc that is body centered cubic so here you can see the bcc cell that is body centered cubic so one atom will be present at the center and eight atom are present at the corner such type of crystal structure is known as alpha iron next question malleable cast iron is produced the answer is from the white white cast iron by annealing process so malleable cast iron is produced from a white cast iron by the annealing process 
Now, what is annealing? Annealing is a heat treatment process that changes the physical and sometimes also the chemical properties of a material to increase the ductility and reduce the hardness to make it more workable. Next question. The unique property of a cast iron is its high damping characteristics. So, cast iron is known for its damping characteristics. That is the unique characteristics of a cast iron. It is not malleable, it is not ductile, it do not have a good surface finish, but it has a good damping characteristics. Here you can see the uh, damping characteristics of the grey, grey cast iron. So, uh, here you can see the amplitude, it is decreasing then nodular, nodular cast iron and finally the grey cast iron. So here, here you can see. Next question. In grey cast iron, carbon is present in form of? The answer is flex. So in grey cast iron, the carbon is present in form of flex. Here you can see. Here you can see the flex. Okay, so the carbon is present in form of flex in case of grey cast iron. Next question, wrought iron is, the answer is highly resistant to the corrosion. So wrought iron is known for its resistance to the corrosion. It is not hard, it is not hard in strength. It is uh, heat treated to change its property, that is also difficult. So mainly the wrought iron is highly resistant to the corrosion. Here you can see the microstructure of wrought iron. Next question. Sulfur in pig iron tends to make it hard. Okay. So when you add the sulfur into the pig iron, it will make it hard. Next question. Blast furnace produces falling by reducing of iron wire. The answer is pig iron. So the blast furnace produces falling by reducing by reduction of iron ore, the answer is pig iron. Here you can see the blast furnace and these are nothing but the different chambers of the blast furnace. Next question, blast furnace produces following by reduction of iron ore, the answer is pig iron. Next question, according to Indian standard specification, SG400 by 15 means the answer is spheroidal graphite cast iron with minimum tensile strength 400 megapascal and 15% elongation. Next question Which of the following iron exists between 910 degree Celsius to 1403 degree Celsius? The answer is gamma iron. So here you can see. This is the gamma iron phase that is in FCC form so, and it exists between 910 degree Celsius to 1403 degree Celsius. Next question. <coughs> the compressive strength of the cast iron is that of its tensile strength. The answer is more than. So the compressive strength of the cast iron is more than its tensile strength. Whereas the tensile strength of steel is more than the compressive strength but in case of cast iron the compressive strength of the cast iron is more than of, than of its tensile strength next question gamma iron occurs between the temperature range the answer is 900 degree celsius to 1400 degree celsius so here you can see the gamma iron, it exists between 900 degree Celsius to 1400 degree Celsius. Next question, cementite consists of, the answer is 6.67% of carbon and 93.33% of iron. So here you can see, this is the region where cementite present. Okay. So up to 6.67% of carbon and rest of is iron. The last question, which of the following represent the allotropic form of iron? The answer is alpha iron, gamma iron and delta iron. So here you can see all the allotropes of iron. So at the bottom alpha iron which is BCC in structure, then gamma iron which is FCC in structure and then delta iron which is again BCC in structure. So alpha iron, gamma iron and delta iron are the allotropes of allotropic form of iron. 
सो दीज आर ट्वेंटी फाइव वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन विच कैन बी आस्क इन यूर एग्जाम बेस्ड ऑन कास्ट आयरन आई हैव प्रिपेयर ए प्ले लिस्ट फॉर इंजीनियरिंग मेटलर्जी वेर यू विल फाइंड ऑल द वीडियोज रिलेटेड टू इंजीनियरिंग मेटलर्जी आई रिक्वेस्ट यू टू प्लीज विजिट दैट प्ले लिस्ट एंड वॉच दोज वीडियोज थैंक यू